Hi everyone, welcome. Um, uh, my name is Tracy. I'm an independent step out demonstrator here in Central Victoria. Um, welcome to another Facebook Live. I'm not sure how I'll go today, but we'll keep going. It's a very warm day here in Central Victoria, so um, 37 I think we've had, but we've had. Hi Marion, thanks for mu so much for joining in. We've had some really cool days as well, and we've got rain coming on sun on Saturday. They they say they are saying so. Uh, cross your fingers for us. We really need the rain. Although the farmers are really doing a lot of hay work at the moment, which is really bad for my hay fever. But um, it's really really busy around the area too. Lovely and cool up there. Did you get that hot weather, Marion? After uh, we had that hot weather a couple of days later. Hi Chrissy. Thanks so much for popping in. Um, yeah, it's been super, super hot here today. I've had the evaporative on all day, so um, it's just too warm for so early in the season. Hot here in Adelaide. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure. Like, we usually get our weather from Perth, I believe, but um, I know Adelaide's pretty close to what we have. Hi, Wendy. Thanks so much for joining in as well. It missed you okay well lucky that you didn't get the hot weather that's really great so hopefully everyone has had a really great week I've been very very busy um, all weekend I was crafting um, I was doing some craft um, card packs for Christmas so let me bring them in because I really wanted to show you uh, what I've been up to so I made 100 cards and these are so I sell these in the shop um, here in Dingy and I also sell in a cafe in Bendigo and so I've just done up some little card packs um, little Christmas card packs with some a little tag as well so hopefully they sell well they always sell well in my um, store so um, if you're <laughs> not really liking to have to create your own cards sometimes purchasing and handmade cards are so much better to use than than the old Hallmark 32 degrees, Wendy. Well, you know, 32 is still better than 37, but I'd still rather in the 20s. It's, um, I'd be happy with a summer that's in the 20s. I don't know about Clever Marion, but I've been busy. So I'm really happy that I've moved forward. I've actually finished all my swaps too for on stage. So that's been fantastic. And before you ask Marion, I have worked out how to do your recipe card and I'm working on that tomorrow. So. Believe me, I'll have it done by tomorrow, I think. So I just want to quickly show you, like last week we had the big stamping sale with 15% off stamps. 20s will be perfect, Wendy, absolutely. <laughs> um, and I actually received my stamp order this morning. So I just thought oh, what I might do is just show you quickly the stamp sets that I got. So the first one was the very Versailles. The sales I'm not really sure but I love this little script on this side and the leaves as well the branch sort of thing so love that set hi Jeanette thanks so much for joining in I'm just showing off the stamp sets that I bought in that sale I'm, I'm really happy this one has been one that I've been wanting for a little while so hopefully I can show you something with that one really soon the other one I purchased was swirly frames um, I've got a few things in mind for this one, so keep an eye out for this one really soon um, Using it with a few other stamp sets as well Versailles, okay. Thank you Wendy <laughs> Versailles, very Versailles. Okay, excellent. So this one as well Now I also got artisan textures. I love the splattered effect um, With stamps and what do we have a couple of years ago? We had I think I still have it, but I haven't used it too much um, on any of my videos because it's a retired product. Um, but uh, I wanted, I, I like to use the, the, the splatters effect on a lot of backgrounds in cards. So this one will be perfect for that. And one I was umming and ahhing about was the wonderful moments. This is actually a, a two piece photopolymer. And it's gonna be great for weddings and birthdays expecting um, yeah I really liked how many sentiments were in that set as well lots and lots of sentiments look at all them there and they're nice small sentiments that would be great um, on the inside as well as on the front less messy splatter yes well actually my table because I've been my swaps um, 
have a splatter of blueberry bushel, um, the shimmer paint, uh, the, the frost white shimmer paint, and what's the other one? Oh, the re-inker for the Delicata uh, silver. So I've just got that splattered all over my desk, uh, over my table at the moment, and I haven't cleaned that up yet. So that's something I'm getting to um, hopefully this weekend. And the last one I got was the Boca Dots. Now these are all ones that I've had on my list for a long time. Um, I haven't purchased it obviously, but um, I think everyone has a huge wish list normally. So um, I'm really happy that I've got a few more extras to play with. So look out for those um, stamp sets. I'll be bringing some things um, to you really soon with them. So I'm really excited that they come this morning. Let's get into it. So this week, well, last week on the live, I did tell you about a blog hop that I've been that I was part of um, that didn't go live till later that night. Hi, Karen. Thanks so much for joining in. Um, I can show you the card now. I didn't want to show it too early because it's my first. Um, it was the first time I was um, blog hopping with this crew, and I didn't want to just show too much. But it was Happy Holidays was the theme. And that's the card there. So using the Cup of Christmas stamp set with the dies. Really, really pretty. It's it's quite a simple card, but I really love the traditional colors and I also really love um, plain and simple sort of cards as well. So, oh, thanks so much for all the hearts. That's beautiful. Yeah, so that was my card. You can check that one out. Now, I didn't do a video on it, but it's on my blog. So check out my blog if you would like to see a little bit more info on it. So this week on YouTube, love the coffee foam. That, um, uh, what's it called? Snowfall Accents is so fantastic. I, I think I'm gonna have to go and grab another bottle before uh, we run out of it. So Tuesday's card on YouTube was this one here. And this is the last day of Halloween. So I hope you've enjoyed this whole month with Halloween themed projects and cards. That was this one here. It's the Emboss Resist with sponging. And I thought this was a super cute idea. Um, Marion actually said it would be a good um, invitation card, so which I agree. You need another one also. Excellent. Well, that's good. Make sure you buy one, Marion. <laughs> we can never have too much, and I don't think it goes off. So that was Tuesdays. Now, today's I also had this was a treat holder and it was case the catalog it's using the pillow boxes so this was a really easy um, treat holder to pop together the uh, pillow box were are things in the catalog you can purchase them i think there's maybe 10 or 12 in a pack and it's just a wrap of dsp around it and this comes from the tags 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 set so this is actually what i've cased uh, from the catalog and i love the candy corn sponged background on that tag so a really cute little um, pillow box that would easily be able to be changed around to a christmas one as well so um, the the tags tags tag set has christmas valentines and halloween in the set so um, you can get lots of different ideas for these uh, using that set um so what else have i got so my sunday facebook challenge if you haven't um, check that out yet each Sunday I pop a, a challenge on my on my Facebook for card making and last week's was just a Halloween theme whether you do a Halloween card or maybe just use Halloween colors now the ladies come up with some really great designs so go and check that out this is the card that I made and it was just um, leftover scraps uh, from the designer series paper that monster bash which I think I have still some a little bit left, but um, these were ones that I just had left on my uh, desk from previous projects. And I thought that would make a really quick and simple card to pop together, um, which is absolutely beautiful, I think. And you could do that with any designer series paper to make a card. Yours is still coming, Jeanette. You haven't purchased the Snowfall Accents before. You're gonna have so much fun. It's really, really easy to use and it really makes snow look good or the foam. It's really, really pretty. Great Halloween card. Excellent, thanks so much, Wendy. Okay, what do we need to go on to next? Um, so I just wanted to let you know too, 
um, on my blog you can sign up for my newsletter and you can also sign up for um, my blog posts via email um, so do that go and check that out um, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go over and do that. Um, at least two videos, sometimes three or four videos. Um, well, if you count my YouTube replay, there's always three or four or five projects every single week. So heaps and heaps of uh, inspiration there for you. <laughs> no free time. I don't really have much free time anyway, Marion, so you know that. But it's okay. I'm still having fun. Host code. So today is the last day. Um, to use the October host code. Now, if you use the October host code, this is the free gift that I'll be sending out to you. You'll receive one of these. Super cute little ideas, but it's only for today. So tomorrow um, will be a different um, little gift, whether it be a card, I haven't worked anything out yet, but it'll either be a card or a project that I'll send to you just by placing an order. Um, now my host code will go live tomorrow. You can check that out either on my blog or on my Facebook. I'll have a, a little um, message with the new host code. And you can go to my online store and place your own order just by popping the host code in. I'll send you out either a card or a project. Um, you also get the bundle tutorial, which I haven't got it on my desk again. I didn't do it last week either, but there's 50 plus bundle um, tutorials. They are full color photos, instructions, uh, dimensions, everything that you need there, and they'll be emailed to you via email. And also if you purchase anything over $50, for every $50, you'll get an inky reward. Uh, once you reach 10, you'll get some free product, which is fantastic. Okay, so last little thing, and I did let you guys know that last week, flex points expire today. So if you're a demonstrator, you have flex points, check them out because if you don't use them today, that's it, they're gone. So please go over and check that out. And the trimmer, so the new paper trimmer, this one here that I showed you a couple of weeks ago, love it. It's available to customers next week. Oh, sorry, tomorrow, not next week, next month so the first of november so from from the first of november you can purchase your own trimmer which is really really great because they weren't sure um how long that would until that would be available for customers so fantastic if you don't have a trimmer and you're needing a trimmer or you're starting to run out of your blades um, of your old paper trimmer get the new one because it is fantastic i'm really enjoying it oh thanks karen glad you love the card Okay, so I did tell you I finished my on-stage swap, so I'm excited about that. We only have, I think, two weeks left. I'm heading to Sydney, so I'm really, really excited. And um, I'll be able to share a few things with you while I'm there, but I'll also show you um, some of my swaps that I receive when I get back. And um, I'll be able to show you. I can't show you inside the catalog, but I'll have some uh, product from uh, on stage that I can show you and yeah, I'm really excited about that. So uh, look out for that very soon Marin, you're excited too. Absolutely. I cannot wait Okay, so let's do the draw. So let's pop the camera down so we can do the draw close your eyes And I'll just flick the camera around the other way there we go So I sent last week's card out this is the card that I made last week. That is the one that's available to win today. So good luck. I'll send this one out tomorrow if I have your address and if I need your address. All you need to do is either message me on Facebook um, or send me an email at tracy.bish at bigpond.com. That would be really fantastic. So I have oh, Chrissy Forbes. Excellent, well done Chrissy. So I'll send you, I think I have your address already. Um, if I don't, if I haven't sent you a card before, can you send me your address? I'm pretty sure I have though. So that's fantastic. Okay, so let's, today is my very last project for Halloween. Let me bring that one in. It's this one here. Now you might notice this is a spider's web and this was a product that Stampin' Up! brought out, I don't know whether it was last year or the year before. These were called spiderweb doilies. I've actually 
sort of got, started going through some of my um, products in my cupboard and thought I'm going to start using them. I know they're no longer available but um, this card I'm just giving away uh, to people who are watching. So make sure if you would like to have a chance of winning this card, make sure you like, comment and share my video. That would be really great. And you can do that over... I do have your address. Excellent, Chrissy. I'm pretty sure I, I did. So that's, that's no problem. Um, and you can do that on my Facebook replay on YouTube as well. So please do that. Okay, so let's grab one of these up. These are pretty delicate. They are uh, black on one side. Oh, there we go. And white on the other. So you can sponge these any colour as well. But I thought these were super cute and would make a really nice card. The other things that we're using are the Stylish Scrolls embossing folder and the Corrugate embossing folder as well. I have Versamark ink and silver embossing powder. So I'm also using the heat tool, using some Memento Tuxedo black ink. And this is the last time I'm going to use the stamp set from uh, the Paper Pumpkin, last year's Paper Pumpkin kit, the Spooky kit. I have had so much fun using this stamp set from the kit. What else are we using? So the kit actually has inside a thick Whisper White card base. It's half a piece of A4 and I've just cut it in half, scored it in half again and I'm just going to fold and burnish that. Excellent. And we're using the typical Halloween colours, pumpkin pie, gorgeous grape and I have a piece of Whisper White for our eek. Now that's part of the stamp set so let me grab that out and then we also have those little um, spiders there that we're going to grab out as well now there's two okay, there's a larger one and a smaller spider in here and I'm going to mount them on the one stamp block so let me see So that's cute and we'll be able to stamp those two together so I'll just let you know too I've already pre-done one because I didn't want to stand here and cut this fussy cut that out it'd take too long so let's get moving we have that piece of whisper white that we're going to stamp with the Versamark ink and heat emboss in the silver embossing powder and this is a huge piece I don't need quite such a big piece and I really love the silver embossing some of my embossing fold, embossing powders are really super fine um, I find my black is very very fine and it seems to get everywhere even if you use the embossing buddy sometimes okay so let's bring the heat tool in and we'll just quickly melt that powder. So it melts really quickly and look how good and shiny that is. It's so beautiful. Um, it does take a few minutes to cut out, but I don't need to, so I'm not going to worry. I'm going to bring the Big Shot in, and we're going to use the corrugated embossing folder for the Gorgeous Grape and the Stylish Scrolls for the Pumpkin Pie. So I have that here ready to go. Now, for all of you that have been following me for a little while, um, our puppy, Riley, She's a German Shepherd. She's now four months old. Um, we took her to the vet for her next lot of injections on Monday. And you know, she um, we had to weigh her and her weight is now 17 kilos. She's huge. And um, we've been told that she's still going to grow almost double what she is now. 
So she's going to be a huge dog compared to our other two little dogs that we've got. We've got a Foxy and a, well, she's a Chihuahua slash a bit of a everything. Um, she looks like a Silky Terrier to me. So we're gonna pop this one in as well. But they are tiny and they eat very little. And Riley is just constantly hungry. So it's a bit different having a different dog like that. That is a big puppy. <laughs> yeah, she's, um, she's clumsy too. Like she's got these huge paws and she's super, super clumsy. So um, I'm worried she jumps out of our bed all the time and takes a quite an effort to get into the bed. But uh, when she's jumping out of the bed, she always falls over. And I'm always worried that she's going to um, break a leg or something she's just so clumsy so we have those two done really quickly I'm gonna bring in the whisper white card now I like thick whisper white for that one dental floss they are we actually <laughs> say the other two dogs are her chew toys <laughs> which is not nice they all get along really well but it's funny when you see them playing they um lucky the the other two dogs don't shy quickly so we have our two little um, spiders here. I'm just going to randomly stamp all the way around. Yeah, they're definitely the size of her chew toys. But she's a beautiful natured dog, um, which is nice. I'm, I've been, always been a little bit not, I don't know whether scared's the word, but wary of large dogs. And um, yeah, she's really nice nature. She actually scares really easily. Um, if someone comes to the back and the other dogs bark, she'll actually run and hide under the house. So I don't know how much of a guard dog she's gonna be, but at the same time, I don't think I want a dog um, that's you know aggressive so I love that she's lovely natured now for this one that I did previously I didn't mount the two stamps together I had them on two separate blocks but I just thought uh, doing it this way would just be a little bit quicker for you so you wouldn't have to wait and watch too much I think that looks all right. That looks good. Purple and orange together, Karen. Yeah, they're, they're perfect Halloween colours, aren't they? And I just love this gorgeous grape. I think it's a really pretty bright colour. Okay, so we're going to pop a little bit of glue down on that doily. And it does hang over a little bit, and I just chopped the overhang off. So I'm just going to pop some Tombow glue down. So how's everyone's week been? Have you been busy? Or have you had a nice cruisy week? I've been busy at work. Uh, we've been training up a new, new person in the shop. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, she's very quick learner which is fantastic and willing to learn <laughs> trick or treat kids Marion there's not a lot of kids in the town we are a town of old people as you know so I don't think we're gonna get too many trick-or-treaters but I tell you what if they come I've got enough cards to give them <laughs> might even have a lolly or two as well Does anyone do Halloween? Do they? you dress up your house or uh, do you take kids out to Halloween? I will say growing up, it wasn't a big thing where I grew up in New South Wales. People just didn't do it. I think it's um, become more and more popular. I don't know, I think it's just another one of those. Money making for the shops. But I will say I'd really love to be over in America one year to see Halloween over there. I think that'd be fantastic. 
like I said last week, I've been able to see Christmas and Thanksgiving, so Halloween's definitely on the cards one year, I think. So that's just glued down with the Tombow glue. I'm also just gonna use the Tombow glue for the pumpkin pie and the gorgeous grape. <laughs> well, Marion, if you don't have the treats, the trick does come, so you're probably better to have the treats than get egged. <laughs> I could see over the road kids doing that for you. Let's just banner cut that end. And they'd be rocking your roof from their shed. <laughs> Speaking of that, have you got your witch outfit, Marion? <laughs> the kids across the road from Marion's house, they call her the witch. Which is funny. So we've just popped that down. I'm going to also glue down the corrugated piece and this gives it a real great pop-up there we are yep <laughs> oh that's interesting Wendy so how long have has he lived over in Australia for and did you did you live over in America don't know that just have to walk out the front <laughs> uh. Marion walks out the front and the kids in the neighbourhood run. <laughs> Shouldn't say that, that's not very nice. Over in Rochi, Becky. I think it's becoming more and more popular in the area. And yeah, the supermarkets and shops, they're trying to sell you the, the goods. So, of course, they're, they're going to... Oh, hang on. I've just lost my comments, so let me see if I can get my comments back up. So sorry, I'm not sure where my comments have gone. I think I've lost my comments. Okay, so let's pop that eek down. And I also added a couple of rhinestones just to give it a little bit of extra sparkle. Where did I put them? Here they are. I'm gonna put down a couple of medium ones and then a small one. So just up here. looks really good so I know it's going to be after Halloween when you get this but if you would like the a chance of uh, winning this one all you need to do is just like comment or share on the video whether it be on the re replay over in YouTube or on this video here and I would love to know where you're watching from um, that would be really great let me bring that camera back up to me and see if I can get the comments back I don't know what I did I pressed a button and the comments just vanished oh. I'm not sure where the comments are I'll check the comments and leave messages if anyone's asked questions but um, I, I, yeah I'm not sure what's happened Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the whole month of October and all the Halloween projects. Um, I'm back next month in November and I'm starting on the Christmas themed one. So um, if you're thinking that you, you need to get started uh, on your Christmas cards and projects, you certainly do need to get started. Uh, we're using products from the new holiday catalogue. Now, if you live in Australia and you don't already work with the demonstrator and you would like a copy of this catalogue, let me know and I'll send you one out free of charge as well. So, um, I would love to do that as well. Okay, until next time, um, I hope you have a wonderful week and a wonderful weekend and stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> okay then, see you later. Bye.